Hey everybody, welcome again to Happy Heart Treasures. My name is Steve, and I'm this is Donna. my lovely oh my wife, goodness. Donna. Wait until you see what we have for you today. Are you, you will want to stay for this. You, she's, <laughs> oh man, you're jumping right into that? Yes. All right, my only oh close my friends goodness. and family have seen what we're going to show you, because I can laugh at myself. Yeah. We're going to show you, uh, give you an opportunity to truly <laughs> laugh at me. But first. Um, but we will get but into first. that in a little while. We had a bargains weekend. for you on 92 weekend. An amazing weekend with friends and lots of other resellers yeah, and we stuff. Had, we had Grams and Pops, Teresa and Corey come down from South Dakota and they went with us all day Thursday and Friday and Alicia, the inked picker, and she Connor. came with us on Thursday and Friday yeah. and even got her husband to come with us. He came with us the first half of the day on Friday. Friday. And so we all, everybody found cool stuff. Yep. It was kind of cool at the end of each day like everybody had roughly the same amount of stuff. It was mm -hmm. it was really cool. But the first day I was I stayed here with the pupper doodles. Um our kiddo went down to show one of the dogs in Kentucky, so I stayed with his dogs here. So yeah, one Steve of the dogs went. was sick, so Donna kind of had to stay there and just make sure the dog was okay. Yep, and so Steve went and took our friends to Bargains for You on 92, and the next day they took me with them. Yes. Well, it wasn't like I was stopping you. She was <laughs> she was very sad that she didn't go Thursday, yes. but we had a great time Friday. We had dinner all the nights and everything. Yep. Oh, and then Friday night we had our Pizza Ranch meetup. And we're actually going to talk about that yeah. on the next video. Yes. So uh, we'll go over that more on that video. But for this one, we're going to do our haul. We're going to do the haul of what I picked out on the first day when Donna was not with us. And then we're going to do the haul for the second day when Donna was with us. And if Donna would have been with us the first day, there is something I bought that she definitely would have said, no, don't buy that. And we're going to show you that stupid thing, too. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, you gotta see let, that. let's get into this. Let's go. All right, so day one, here is my haul. It doesn't look like much, but this is my haul. And I'm going to show you what all's in here. So every time I'm out, and if Donna's not with me, I'm looking for yarn because the first part of the day, the first couple hours of the sales, um, I really wasn't right in my own head. I was trying to, I felt bad because Donna wasn't with us. And so I was spent a lot of time looking for things. What would Donna find here? What's Donna looking for? I'm always looking for yarn, but I was looking at breakables and dishes and silverware. I'd look at it and I don't ever look at that stuff. She does all that. So I kind of personally wasted a lot of time searching, trying to be Donna when I should have just been looking for myself. Nobody can be Donna. That's right. <laughs> She's one of a kind, that's for sure. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't do the best job picking, um, but I still had, we had a lot of fun, you first of all. You did a great job driving, I heard. I did. I drove everybody. We all made it. No accidents. It was great. No uh, it was me. Corey, Teresa, the Scrams and Pops, and Alicia, Ink Picker. So the four of us went out and we traveled the countryside. We found some cool stuff until storms rolled in and it started raining and then we called it a day. So what'd you find? Let's go through what we did. First of all, I'm always looking for yarn. Somebody had four totes of yarn. Donna, I called her. To, I sent her pictures and she's like, offer them, blah, blah, blah. Try to get them all. And the lady was like, no, this is the beginning of the sale. I'm not, I'm not making deals for all of it. So didn't get any yarn. So I didn't tell Donna that we got her any yarn except for one skein. There was one skein of yarn that she knew I got because I sent her a picture and she's like, just that one. And I got home and it was fun because I got to show Donna this three boxes of yarn. <laughs> he um, got this for me, you guys. Yep. It's, I don't know what she does with it all. She crochets some, she sells some. These are those big, the great big ones. Like, what are they, one pound or something. Yeah. They're big old skeins there. And These then are another big box. Ones too. A whole lot of pink, I noticed. But, yep. but anyway, so I got three boxes of yarn. I paid $20 a box, so this was $60. What do you mean you don't know what I do with it? I make blankets and coffee cups. She does. She makes great things. But she also sells some to kind yeah. of pay for the rest of it. Yeah. There's some good stuff in here, guys. What she'll do when, I, when she gets, like, a whole lot of yarn, she'll literally, like... Pick out what she wants. She'll sell enough like that pays for the lot, and then she has that up to play with or whatever. So, but whatever. I spent a total of I think one hundred and sixty-three dollars that first day. So, sixty dollars was in yarn. Actually, sixty-one dollars because there was the one Where's skein the I got. 
Actually, it's sixty one dollars because I picked up this one little skein for one dollar. So cotton. That's the yarn. Then as we went through, I'm just gonna kind of show you what I got, tell you what I paid for it, and pop up comps for some of the things. Uh, I don't know that I'll get comps for everything, but the one guy had one sale we went to had baseball bats, and these are in pretty good condition. Um, an Easton, what is this? An Easton Cyclone. These are more like a smaller kids bats, uh, and a Z Core Titanium with an Easton. Anyway, they need to be rewrapped or whatever. They were only three dollars a bat, and I can do these on dollar auction if they're not selling, worth selling on eBay. So I just grabbed them. So that's our bats. And then one guy had golf clubs, and I said, well, how much for the golf clubs? First of all, I found this. This was cool. I've never seen this. See that putter? It's a round like a barrel. I've never seen that before. And so it says, Rescue Golf Company, Inc. I don't know, soft stroke. So anyway, like a barrel, round barrel. So I saw that right away, and I was like, hey, this is cool. That'd be fun to take to... Uh, Rick U. Rick U. R I C Q U E. I've never heard of that. So I said that'd be fun to take the league and just pull out of the bag, and everybody'd be like, What the heck are you doing? What is that? <laughs> so anyway, I bought it. I said, Well, how much? And he says, I'll sell that for five bucks. And I said, Well, how much for the other clubs? And he says, Well, I was asking ten, but I'll, I'll sell one for five. So I picked out, um, here's a Ping G2 uh 20 degree seven wood right here a fairway wood and i got that for five dollars and then there was this set i've never seen clubs like this these are women's clubs but look at them they got the tops out and i asked him oh they're hollow yeah i asked him i said are these missing the top like did the tops pop off of these and he says no that's the way they're supposed to be so i thought they were unique enough that i just grabbed them so I paid 15 for the three they are Callaway GES Woods, so I grabbed those, and hopefully they're worth selling, but for $15, I would surely think so. All right, then at one of the last sales, right when the rain was coming, just a Golden Tee Golf. I played the crap out of Golden Tee. Oh, that ball don't move very well. I wonder if I can fix that. Imagine. It moves, but not real well. I played a lot of Golden Tee Golf in my 20s. So I just thought, well, this will be fun. It does need a power cord, but it's just a standard power cord. Paid a dollar for it, and I think it's like 20 bucks or something online. Um, here's a nice hat. Isn't that a cool hat? I bet you Teresa from Grams and Pops would like to get this hat, but she didn't. I did. Actually, I saw her pick up this hat. We were at a garage sale. She picked up the hat. And I, saw, I just noticed as I was coming up and she was grabbing it, so I just walked away. And I went back to the table later and it was sitting there. And I'm like, huh, 50 cents. Let's see the little C with 50, 50 cents. And I thought, well, that's worth picking up. And so I just grabbed it because I can put that in the booth if nothing else. And we got all done and she's like, you got that hat? And I'm like, well, yeah, 50 cents. She thought it said $50 and it comps for like 30, 35 bucks. Oh, so nice. so uh, swing and a miss by her on that one, but... Man, they got. I'll some sell good it in her stuff. name. I'll sell it with thinking about Teresa. They so. got some good stuff. Going yeah, they on. got some great stuff. Uh, everybody did. Alicia did. Uh, next up, this was just more fun. Miles. Miles, the Bronco horse, um, and Bronco's he's actually mascot. Bronco's mascot. He actually flips oh, into a, flip? a football with legs, or you can put the legs in. And he flips into a football That's and zips awesome. up. So how awesome is that? Uh, that was a quarter of 50 cents. It was not much. Uh, yeah. So so that's fun. Probably for the booth, but I don't know. We'll see. This is not anything great. It's Mesa Mia knife set, but it was brand new. These actually don't sell on eBay at all. Uh, but that's I don't nice. remember what I paid. Maybe a dollar. So I just thought we'd get it for dollar auction because... I think it would do pretty good. A couple new knives on dollar auction. Um, what's in here? I don't even remember. Oh, this is a set of 1960s like snack trays. I don't wow. know if this is supposed to be in or not, yeah. but it was five bucks for the set. I looked it up and I think the set sells for around like 30, 40 bucks, I think. So cool I that? picked that up. It's just it's kind of a unique old item. Um, this is a, 
Oneida saucepan. Very clean, not all beat up. So if you want $2 for it, and if I remember correctly, I think it's a Oneida 1810 stainless steel saucepan. So I think it was like 30 bucks for that, 20 That's to 30. Nice uh, and then I did, paid up a little bit. I didn't like what I paid for these, but Bath and Body Works. Uh, Vampire Blood, I paid 354. It has a great sell through rate and Life of the Party, I paid $3 for. I think you have another piece that matches that. I thought I saw. Oh. Here, also Life of the Party. Uh, set of Life of the Party. And so I paid three three and three fifty for these. I don't remember exactly what they sell for, but it's like it's not a lot. It's like fifteen dollars. But they are, you know, I did look at them and there's no lotion on them. They're brand new. So Good job. So I picked those up. And then at the very first my very first purchase was blank VHS tapes. <laughs> we get three dollars at the booth each and there's four in here. So the four times three is twelve dollars and I paid a dollar for that. And then this uh, premium Husker flag, brand new Husker Nation. Hey, they just won yesterday. They're one and oh, so that'll probably go good in the booth what or even on dollar auction. They won 40 to seven, I think. Nice. Sounds about right. Paid a dollar for that. And then this also at our first sale. This is a kind of a vintage wow. zip up Huskers jacket right there. Champion. Champion brand made in Egypt. Look at the so, full champion symbol. Yeah, and this is all stitched. I mean, it's a nice little jacket. Looked like really clean. So I paid, uh, I think she paid, charged me two bucks for that. That's nice. So that was nice. It was one of those garage sales where they had different initials on things. And other Husker things right next to it was somebody else's prices. And they were $5 a piece. And this was somebody else and they charged $2. So that's a score right there. And the last thing I got without Donna, we were garage sale in David City, and they had these two lotion bottles, and they had twenty dollars on them. Lanza, Lanza Keratin Healing Oil. Are they the same thing? Um, oh, one shampoo, one yeah, conditioner. shampoo and conditioner. But if I, I look down the tubes or the spouts or whatever you call them, and there's nothing in there, so they're brand new. And I paid 20 bucks for these. And I think I remember the comps were about $120 free shipping. So about 100 to $110 for the so for, the, for the set. Nice. So that's the last thing I got. Not, uh, you know, I wouldn't say a huge day, not a lot of stuff, but we also had, you know, four people in the van. And so I think not that's buying a, a big good things. Day. So that was a pretty good day. So we're going to wrap it up for this. And now if you're still sticking around, and you're still here and you're still watching you i have a treat for you <laughs> okay I just, i'm sorry i'm laughing you guys watch the video no steves were harmed in the yes making i am of this video he's got one band-aid you know now i have one band-aid right there uh you know now that i'm okay i survived um <laughs> And I'm still walking and everything. But so here's, I'm going to give you the little backstory. We went to somebody's house. I'm just going to tell you briefly. We went to somebody's house to drop something off. And it's uh, somebody that couldn't be at the dinner because they got sick and they couldn't come. And so we felt bad. So we took a few things like that we had the dinner, like stickers and Ikea bags. And we went to their house to drop it off. And so I went to the door and all these kids answered. Um, I don't know how old the kids are, but all these kids answered and... One of them said... And they were like, oh my gosh, it's Steve. It's, you're the YouTube guy. I'm like, yeah, I'm the YouTube <laughs> guy. And this one little boy was looking at me and he's like, he's like, so you're on YouTube? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I've never seen a YouTuber before. And I'm like, well, yeah, hi, here I am. And right after that, <laughs> Is where this video picks up. I thought he was a and goner, so you guys. I thought he was a goner. Let's, all right, let's roll the video. Hi, <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Damn. I just stepped over here. Step. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Whew. I tripped over something. He just fell off the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. He's ready. Okay. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> that's the video. <laughs> so <laughs> as, oh, okay. I love you. I love. I'm I, so glad you're not hurt. A couple things about this video. First of all, <laughs> first thing I did when I got in the van, I'm like, I sent him a text, and I'm like, you have to send me that video because I saw you had a ring camera. So I got the video from him. <laughs> And he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I am good. And he's like, that's pretty funny since you're okay. And, and so I, he sent me the video. I watched the video. And we were getting ready to leave. He's living in a little town next near here. And we are getting ready to leave. I watched it and I chuckled. I'm like, huh, that's kind of dumb, but whatever. And so then I handed the phone to Donna as I left. And I said, here, watch this. And Donna watched it. I, I couldn't help it, you guys. Donna. So funny. Because I knew he was okay. So then I laughed. Yeah, she <laughs> laughed and crying. <laughs> crying laughing for at least 10 minutes. It was a 15-minute drive home. I've never seen my husband do such things. And it was 10 minutes before I could get her to say any words. I'm going to give you the play-by-play -play of how this happened. So they have decorations on the steps. When I was stepping down, I stepped on something. And I caught it on the side of my foot, and so I went to step with the other foot, and I stepped right off the thing. I wasn't paying attention. So as I went backwards, it was at this moment right here that I thought, okay, I need to roll backwards. And I was like, you know, in the at the carnivals, they have that ride that goes in circles, and it goes up and up and up until it finally reaches enough momentum to get all the way around. So as I was going backwards, I was right about here, and I thought, I have to finish this in order to not fall back on top of the you know the decorations and stuff and actually get hurt so i like i was right here my feet stuck up and then i oh, i made it all the way over but it was at that point when i was questioning like questioning what i'm doing outside the home i need to not leave the house i need to just stay where i'm at and of course then we sent the video to a few friends and corey responds back with this reselling got you down <laughs> So, you know, we had a good laugh. It's been a lot of fun. And, you know, uh, Randy, the guy we stopped at his house, he's like, that's going on a video, right? I'm like, yes, it's going on the video. I have to share that. So uh, just for your entertainment, so you don't have to rewind. Here it is again. Enjoy. Uh, you're welcome. Ma'am. I just stepped over your step. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Whew. I tripped over something. He just fell off the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. He said he was okay. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Keepers. <laughs> all right, that's enough laughing at Steve. Let's see what Donna picked while she was with us on Friday. And... Let's see what I picked while I was with us on Friday. While you were with us. There was a few more things I picked up that I forgot about, and so I'll just get, show you them real quick. Uh, this guy, there's a Makita. All right, right here, Makita drill. Cordless drill, charger, two batteries. Uh, I have to test it, see if it works, but for two bucks, definitely worth the shot there. And then right here, I have the box for it and everything. It's a high gain uh, CB radio. And it was $7.50, paid up a little bit, but we looked it up. I think it sells pretty good. I don't remember exactly what, but high high range 5 with the V by high gain. So I'll pop up a comp for that. But I think I paid $7.50 for that, which is about the most I paid for anything. And then this guy had this whole bag of DeWalt tools, and it was 5 bucks for all, which for DeWalt is awesome. Now he did say... I give you no guarantees, nothing might work, or it might all work, I don't know, but for five bucks, charger, oh, there's tools down in there, I didn't even look down in there, so there's some tools down in there too, uh, doesn't look like nothing fancy, but for five bucks, I picked that stuff up, and at the same sale, this is the dumbest story ever, and this one I'm kicking my, I'm not kicking myself for falling off the porch, not at all, this I'm kicking myself, this was so stupid, on the way out, there was this picture, and this picture is hideous. And I stopped to take a picture of it just so I could send it to Donna and make the joke that, hey, I bought this for you. And so as I'm taking a picture of it, 
the guy walks up and he had five dollars on it and he says you need to take that home and i'm like i laughed i'm like uh no and he's like the frame's worth it he goes i'll sell you for two dollars two dollars you can take it home and i'm like okay i don't know why i said okay as soon as i got in the van i didn't know why i said okay i still don't know why i said okay i shouldn't have bought this picture but i brought this picture home to my wife she's like what were you doing and i'm like you can't i don't leave know the house you want to see this hideous picture all right here's the hideous picture there's a glare tilt it forward a little bit yeah that's the hideous picture it's two babies look at this the the frame though the, the frame's frame is, beautiful i mean look up here Yes, frame. beautiful frame, but I bought that picture and I thought it was so funny. But then after the laughter wore off, I'm like, why did I buy that picture? So anyway, I'll try to sell it for the frame on the dollar auction. <laughs> there is one that sold on eBay or something like in 2016, I think it was for like 60 bucks. So we might try to sell it online, but I don't know, wish I wouldn't have bought the picture. All right, that's enough of my dumb buys. Let's see some of Donna's dumb buys. Wait, she probably doesn't make dumb buys. I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. She got yarn! She got more yarn, because I didn't get her enough yarn, so she got more yarn. That great big one. Yeah. Yep. So, I got more yarn and a book. What did you pay for that? Five dollars. All right. I'll bring out the elephant in the room, because you can see what it is right here. This is an iBook G4. We walked up to this garage sale, and I saw this sitting there. It was out, it said $5. And I'm like, that must be an empty box because people sell empty boxes. And I looked in it and by golly, there it is, it's in here. And so I was talking to Corey and I'm like, well, it definitely doesn't work. I'm sure, you know, it's just for parts or something. So I went up and asked the guy, I said, hey, does that thing fire up or anything? And he calls the guy because it wasn't his. And he says, hey, this Apple laptop, he says, does it fire up? And he. The guy says, yeah, it runs, it works. He goes, it'll, it'll grill you hamburgers. I don't know what that meant exactly, but... <laughs> so I'm like, okay, five bucks. So I can sell that for parts to repair for something. It's a iBook G4. So here's what parts and repair it sells for. Okay, Donna likes breakable things. Yes. She likes selling breakable things and then saying, hey, ship this. You guys, I got these. They look like that bubble glass, you know, from Mexico. Bubble glass, they're heavy. So I got a set of these for seven. How many of them? Seven. Seven of them, dollar a piece, okay. And then I got a Sensi for a dollar. Cool. And then I got these at the same sale. These are the fruit. Here is a comp because I can't remember it right now. But um, I got these for jeepers. I think these were three dollars. I don't know. We like stone. Yeah. Are they like stone? Okay. They're stone. All right. So a whole set of fruit that you don't want to eat. That you don't want to eat. All right, you guys. All this stuff is from one sale. We walked up. They had great prices. This is a Dooney and Burke. We've sold this one before, so we know it's what it looks like. We've got the matching wallet. It's amazing. We've sold that one before. We got that for $15. We got this coach purse for four. It's got the purple interior. Yeah, and we think it's real. You know, oh, we yeah. looked it over and everything lines up. The stitching's good. It looks really nice. This is a vintage coach wallet. We got that for two. Michael Kaur, we got that for two. This one is a Brahmin. If you know Brahmin, you know. That's got good that brand. for two. Um, this is a Kenneth Cole. Got that for two. And then this. Oh my goodness, you guys. You see the name on that? What she's most excited for. Look at that. Ruth, my friend Ruth, told me about Brahmin. These are high quality, nice, well-made bags. It's got a little spot right there. But other oh. than that, got this one for... This one was 20 Okay. Brahmin with the bag. <clears throat> All right. And then we got a pair of Brooks tennis shoes. It's because they're in such good condition. What'd you pay for that? Like three? I think it was three. Two for these. Two? Okay. Yep. And I paid two for him. Just because we haven't had enough turtles in our life. So Look at him. He's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. And then Steve got this. Uh, just for a dollar. Uh, SSX on tour snowboarding game for PS2 for a dollar. 
Okay. Yeah. And then um, you got these. Okay, then another sale we went up, and she had some cool stuff and good prices. I got two golf clubs, but one of them I already listed on Dollar Auction. The other one I already listed on eBay. The one on Dollar Auction is currently at $11. The one on eBay, I'll post a picture of it. It's, uh, what was it, Callaway, I think? And it is listed for, I think, $69.99. And I paid $10 each for those, so it's was $20 for the two clubs and that's where they're listed. Then at the same sale, we had this North Face uh, sling bag that is a very, very clean. And I think, I can't remember how much that was. Maybe five bucks. It was a little bit more, like I would have liked to pay less, but considering how clean it was, I picked that up. And then this was a fun find here, I think. I don't know. So these bags were all sitting kind of in a pile and I looked it up and I saw this one was on top. And I thought, well, that's unique. That might be fancy. It's a racquetball bag. And so I looked it up, that's and I that's think it was $30 to $40. I'll post, a, I'll post a comp here for this bag. But this is what I found, and I think it was $30 to $40. And then it had these two bags also. And I said, well, how much for the pile of bags? And she said, I think $5 for all three. Wow. Might have been $10. I think it was $5 for all three. So yeah, I haven't looked the other two up, but I think that was a good good purchase. You also you want to win or what it says. <laughs> and then at one sale, they had this little box of this is Hexbug Battle Bots, and they had twenty dollars on it. Donna had thirteen dollars in her pocket at the time, so Donna asked her if she'd take thirteen, and she said, "Well, yeah, sure I will." So it just has a bunch of parts. This is something that I'll part part out or whatever like I'll look into and it's got a whole bunch of controllers like that it's got a whole bunch of little battle bot things I don't know much about them but Teresa Rams and Pops she said that she's sold lots of these before parted them out or sold them in lots I'm not sure but I'll, I'll look at it and for $13 I definitely think that I can make some money on that so that was kind of a fun box project box okay we got a few things for the booth all right, happy mind, happy life. For like Some new. Flowers. Yes, of course. This is Nebraska. It yeah, says. we've been selling Nebraska sweatpants like crazy, and then these shoes. Okay. So say so happy camper on them. Yep, on they the look. Side. Yeah, good condition. Look really good. Okay, and then I got some plushies, and I don't know which sale is what or whatever, but this baby, this is the one who usually has babies in her tummy. She doesn't have her babies with her, but she's in excellent condition. For a buck. So I'm going, and I have already sold one of her for like 34 something. And then the Care, Care Bear. Bear. Yep. This was just for fun because look at him. How can you not love him? Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> okay. plush. <laughs> Here's another Care Bear for the plushies. Okay. And then I got this for the booth. Yep, just a clean white Nebraska shirt. Yep. That will sell well. And we got this also for a dollar. Kansas Speedway NASCAR shirt. It's just kind of fun. Fun print, so I grabbed print. that for the booth. And this was, whoops. And this Corey LaJoy uh, thing was signed, and they threw it in with the shirt, so she grabbed that too. Two Starbucks mugs to sell, cups to sell. Yeah, it's hard to find them with the straws. Yes. But, yeah, she paid, looks like three a piece for those. This was something we went to a sale and I, what are you charging for this, five bucks? I think it was five bucks, but I don't, I don't remember what it goes for, but it's a Bosch GPL5. I think it's a uh, laser level. And so there's a comp for it. Oh, it was $10. I think I actually gave him the 10 for it. I think it was worth it. Okay, I got this Hawaiian shirt, 2XL, good size for a dollar, made in Hawaii. Cool. And we got this one. Yep. Oh, that's even got it on the back. Yep, yep. for the booth. This one for the booth. Yep. Hey, just so you know, update on the booth. So we're filming this is September 1st, and we're going to tell you what we did in August. So if you've been following along, you know kind of how our booth story is. So this last month in August, we ended up selling 124 items 
for our net our gross sales the total sales for that was twelve hundred twenty four dollars and forty seven cents so uh that's been a lot more fun than i ever thought the booth would be <laughs> so i also got this for the booth a vintage seat and we also got this for the booth a team flag team yep. flag i think that's it for the booth for right the second you found this yeah just a cookbook for a quarter we were to sell for quarters and quarter we've, items. we've been selling them i've been pricing them all at 14.99 there you go all the cookbooks that i find um like that we got this for the dollar auction i can't remember what i paid for it but it is so cool it's uh, made out of cherry wood not much if i don't if i remember correctly and then oh i got this guy for two dollars mickey mouse yep and i think it comps for 30 30 something and then what's in here oh these were just fun i didn't comp them out yet so i have no idea but they're flamingo decorations this one's glass cool and this one is the blown glass okay nice for a christmas tree or whatever got this little cup for a dollar it's strawberry shortcakes pal huckleberry pie and i know this one was 20 to 25 dollars cool got this cup these cups for 50 cents i get enough to make a set they're tupperware cups this is a fiesta got it for two dollars for the booth look there's yarn <laughs> found some yarn All right. that was my first one of the first stops of the day and then i got these these are um pioneer woman pioneer woman what are they though they're shelf liners okay and that was for two we went to a place that was just full of stacked boxes and stuff oh in the alley in the alley and we all had to dig we all had to dig so I didn't have time to comp anything out, but I just picked stuff up that I thought was maybe worth a little something. Yeah, we'll just show the stuff. So, we, you, how much did you pay for the whole box? 20 bucks. 20 bucks for the box. 25. 25 for the box. 25. So I got a blow mold. I got the zebra. Okay. Uh, oh, for the booth, got big red. A Minnie Mouse puppet. There you go. Another cookbook from Seward 1979 some vintage toys we get there you go another cookbook a smack doll okay that's, swack never seen that before not sure about this yeah it's got a little thermometer on it I don't know if there's more to it or anything but we just you know we just made a pile it was throw stuff in a booth weather wizard uh -huh. so I don't know Got another cookbook. You got this. Uh, it looks like it's a San Francisco 49ers like diecast car. Uh, I just threw it in the pile. So. Um, these are embroidered table runner little doily things. Yeah. I got him for the booth. No, uh, little trolls go really well. Uh, Huster Rubik's Cube. Yep. I don't know what this is. And then I found a Beat Texas pin. So just kind of a vintage pin. We'll throw that in the booth. I don't know what this is. I don't either. Is that like marble? No. Plastic, isn't it? I don't know. He's not real heavy. Don't know. We'll have to see if Google knows who he is. And then I got this is a bolo. Not a bolo. Well, hopefully it's a, it's a bolo. Yeah, but it's a bolo tie. Okay, bolo tie. Yeah. All right. All right, then things were winding down and we were going across town to just hit one or two more that we weren't open before or whatever. And I saw this ad on Marketplace and it was a garage sale and it looked absolutely hideous. The whole front of the yard was just full of big cardboard boxes and it was like, we're selling everything by the box. Hideous and so, because you don't like to dig. Yeah, I don't like to dig as much. Um, I thought it was but, fun. Yeah, everybody else was like, that looks fun, and, I, and I'm all for it. Like, I'm like, okay, let's go. So we all went, and it was it was a box. There was probably 150 boxes in this front yard, big boxes. And so we went there, and everybody scored good. I didn't pick anything. I found a few things, and I'd be like, hey, if somebody wants this, like Mr. Christmas something, 
and I looked at some other stuff and I just let other people have like I was like I was kind of over it and the van was really full and I knew that everybody was picking a lot so I was like I'm just gonna let them all pick because we got to try to fit this all in the van with five of us four of us five he, of us he doesn't know how good at Tetris we all are yeah I was worried about getting it all in the van to get it home now to be fair when we got in the van and come home like Teresa was in the far back seat and she could not get out if we went to any more sales she couldn't get out and Alicia was holding a big box in her lap so we were full but so I just kind of laid back and let everybody look and Donna came home with would you buy three boxes or four boxes but you consolidated it down I bought six boxes. oh she bought six boxes and consolidated it down and then there's more to this story once we show you this stuff she'll kind of go through it here and tell you how much for each box. I don't even well, know. Well, it's consolidated. So it's consolidated. What'd you pay total? Do you remember? Didn't we do thirty? It wasn't that much. The other people bought more stuff. Twenty-eight. More. Twenty-eight. That 28. sounds right. Okay. So, so we'll just kind of go through it pretty quickly. But it's mostly it's all holiday stuff. These are the vintage rubber. Rubber Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. I yep. did look a few of a few you know Santas up like that. Um, they seem to sell pretty well. Some of this is just, I consolidated the boxes, so I really don't know what's in it. Um, just decorations here and there. Um, I did get a bunch of these. Annalee. Can you see it? Yep. A-N-N-A-L-E-E. -E. I've never heard Do of it. Do you see the tag on the back? Twenty-two fifty for that little Easter bunny. So I got a bunch of the Annalee. This one is one. Another one. Yep. Another one. That was, looks like a kind of an ugly bunny in the face. I don't mean to be mean. Well, that's that's the style of these Anna Lee dolls. Yeah, look at the bunny. Look, kind of looks a little creepy. Um, he wishes to throw in another Anna Lee there. Mm -hmm. Yep. This one is flocked. Okay. Another Anna Lee. Yep, I guess you can tell Annalise by the faces because yep, no, they definitely look different. Just swapped. Cool. Just, just to throw lots in. of like she just had it all sorted out in in boxes like by Christmas and by Halloween and everything else. There's another little squeaky. These are the vintage ones. Oh, that's that's a doggy right there. Yep. Yeah, you got some Christmas music going on. Jingle bells, jingle bells. There you go. Another one. Another one of them little Easter ducks. Anna Lee. Yep. Wow, you got a lot of Anna Lee. Mm -hmm. This is just a throw in. I'm not sure about that one. Another Anna Lee. Yep. Another. Yeah. Am I supposed to be whispering? No. Okay. Um, I haven't. These are chalk. These two are chalk. All right. Chalk dolls. So those are vintage. Um, and then I got this. This guy was a dollar in his box. That's funny. Look, Gina. He's a mouse. He's got glasses. Yeah. He's got a nice beard going. Yep. Yep. So that was pretty much it for that box. Well, yeah, and it's all consolidated. Yeah. So in and here, this one was just the extra stuff thrown in on the top. Not the stuff you were actually going for, but all mm -hmm. the just the fillers. Because you had to buy a box. You had to take everything that was in it. So this was just the extra stuff. What is that? I'm not sure what it was that out of the Easter box. creepy bunny. Look at that thing. It's standing on a thing. That's that's a creepy bunny right there. Like, yeah, I don't know what these are. But look, he's old. Yeah, I would he's say a so. wind up. Does it work? I don't want to wind him too much without. Okay. All right. Um, a little bear. A blow mold. A little blow mold Santa. Yep. And this is vintage. Mm-hmm. And then these are the Hanukkah. lights. Uh huh. Yep. No, 
Not Hanukkah, but they're the lights oh. for the Wento. Okay. Vintage lights. Just lights. Yeah. Blow mold. Yep. This is vintage. Yes, it is. I would say safely say it's all vintage. Another blow Another mold. Blow mold. You have more blow molds than I thought. You did great. Like I didn't. Another blow I mold. didn't pick anything there. I just walked around a lot. Oh my! And I didn't see little... these babies. Sometimes. Oh, you got one falling. Vintage shaped candles can do really well, and these look like they're in good shape. Here, it says something on the bottom. I mean, this one has a sticker. So these, yeah, these are candles, yeah. Uh -huh. It says air currents and drafts can cause irregularly shaped novelty candles to drip. Place candle on a plate while burning. Girly Novelty Company. Copyright 1950 by the Girly Novelty Company. Little, so. little ca carolers. Cool. That's awesome. I didn't know they were in there. That's awesome. Let me slide this box out of the way. And then I got Halloween stuff. Halloween always sells pretty good. So that's just a table runner. Oopsies. Right there. So that's a dollar auction right there. You guys look at this. Oh, she got mercury glass. Look how big they are. Yeah. This one and this one. Yeah. So we don't know nothing about them. I did not but... comp them at all, but oh my goodness. I hope that there's something. Yeah. And then I wanted this guy. Five Rock Dick 18 inch witch. So we picked, picked her up. Yep. And then. <laughs> kind of like a paper mache. This is just what was cool. in the box. I had and to then take. Just the odds and ends that was left in the box there. But look. Where's his other. Uh, part of his leg is missing. Oh. Life's There's rough as a pumpkin scarecrow. Oh, you got a few of those things. Yeah. All right. They were just in the box, and I thought, oh, they're kind of cool. Nice. Halloween is a big seller, man. So that's all right. Well, very good. Is that a nose? <laughs> that's, that's horrible. That <laughs> old costume nose. That's all that's in here. Oh, here's his leg. So we did find his leg. Okay, good. So when we were at that sale, like she had all these boxes and like literally like, like I said, it was, the van was full. And she said, How like the boxes were one? charged, they were like $5 up to like $40. I know there's a box of masks that was $40. And she was like, come back tomorrow. Now when we came home, we had things to do. Donna had auctions in, we had to go let the dogs out and things to do. So we came back and then, I know Alicia and Corey and uh, Teresa, they went back to the sale again and picked up even more stuff. So um, I, I admit, I was a little jealous. I was like, man, kind of <laughs> want to go back, but we had too much stuff to do. And man, I was beat. But when she was talking, we, you know, she said she was going to do her sale Friday, Saturday, and then just a couple hours on Sunday. And she was telling us, come back on Sunday and I'll be just blowing the stuff out, whatever's left if you want to. So, guess what we did this morning? Should we show them what we did this morning? Yeah. Okay, we're going to show you what we did this morning. Sunday morning, Donna stays at, she stayed at our kids' house watching the dogs overnight. She came home, and then, I don't know who brought it up. We're like, you well, did. oh, the lady had messaged Donna. She gave her the number, oh, yeah, yeah. and she's like, do you want to, if you want to come back, I'll be open from 11 to 1. So, at 11 o'clock, we went, and this is what we did. All right, here's our van. Yeah. It's full so, of boxes. <laughs> might have got a few more we, things. We, we loaded up the van with a bunch more boxes and made a deal with her and we got them all for all this for $100. There are Halloween masks in here. There's a sleeping sand. Pull that sleeping sand out. That's cool. We're not going to go through this, but this is cool. Sleeping Santa from Motionettes. And pull that lid off there. It's, it's really cool. You didn't even see this guy. He didn't? snores and whistles. Yeah, he's really cute. With his little see, boots and his toes. The little toes sticking out. And oh, yeah. how cute is he? He lays in the bed and snores. So, Aww. anyway, so we got a whole van full of stuff. Here's your masks right That's here. That's alright. Yeah, we can I guess I could show a couple. 
Steve got a box of books. I did. I bought a box of more books. I don't know why, but they all looked interesting. This box was $40. I contemplated buying it the first day, oh, but then I passed. But there's a bunch of old, old vintage masks uh, for Halloween. Here, grab a couple more and I'll look at this because there's a name on it. I don't know. At least the ones I looked at had names on them. Um, I can't. This one does not. But that one, like, look at the look on the bottom of it. It has a name. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's Spearhead. Spearhead IND Ink. And then another one said there was another name. But anyway, there's they're old. They're old masks, Halloween masks. It's a box full of them. I was gonna honestly, I was thinking about giving her forty bucks for the box, but I didn't, and they happen to be still be there today. Spearhead. So. Yep. Um, here, this one is... That's the other one I saw. Top Stone Danbury, I think. Danbury. Yep. The rubber. Wow. There's a bunch in here. Yeah. Old guy. Oh my goodness, this is a witch. Yep. So anyway, a whole bunch of masks in there. And a whole bunch of boxes. I think it was 13 total boxes that we ended up getting, so... This stuff will have to get out and sort and you know there's a bunch of stuff we couldn't like cherry pick the boxes and make new boxes we had to take the whole box so there's a bunch of stuff in here i know that you know is just free pile or donate trash whatever but i think we got some really good stuff in here so yeah. let's go back inside all right so that's our haul from the weekend yes um and then we had dinner and we at pizza ranch and it was a our lot of fun meet up was great fun thank you everyone who showed yeah, up yeah we're going to talk about it and we'll show you some pictures and stuff on the next video we're yeah. going to kind of discuss we're going to just in the next video we're going to show you like what sold over the weekend and we're going to discuss like knowing other resellers and what the reseller uh, community community the reseller community like is really like because there's a lot of people that put videos out and like have drama but we had a really good time and we, we just have some awesome stories time. to share so we'll show you that stuff next time we've but, got some great what solds to show you so tune in next time yep all right cool well that's it for today i'm steve i'm donna we're happy our treasures we'll see you on the next one bye